Berlin. Hello. Hi. So, how was it? I'm just going to kick it off with a question or two, and then I'm going to throw it to the audience. So I want you guys to please start thinking of some great questions from Moira. But I will, I will, I will start off. So you were both writer and yeah. producer. Right. What was the inspiration for the story? How did you come to the story? You co-wrote it with another yeah. screenwriter. I co co-wrote it. Yes, you co-wrote so it. So the original, I'm not the original author. Mm -hmm. It's my co-writer, Patrick Tabada. And he's a young writer. It's his first screenplay to be produced. Um, he originally wrote it for a school project. It was a requirement for school. And then he entered it in a competition in Quezon City. Um, and it, it got a grant. It got one of ten grants. Uh, of um, And then um, that's when he started to look for a, produce, a producer and a director. That's when, when I came on board. And then so I worked with him in uh, revising the script. Okay. Yeah, And uh, Patrick, um, he's been asked that question too many times. And so this is based on his uh, true story. It's, it's semi-autobiographical. Um, the characters are based on his family. Um, the mother, Ei, is also the same name as his mom. And they've been estranged from their dad um, also the same time, a uh, long time. And uh, the father died and they went to the funeral. Yeah, so um, so yeah, it's uh, Patrick's family story. Although my own family has a very similar, very similar um, story. In fact, when my mom saw it, she thought it was about her. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were co-writing it, what what were you bringing to the script? Were you helping punch up the dialogue? Were you yeah. bringing in different influences? I mean, I see a lot of like Little Miss yes. Sunshine in this film. What was kind of your contribution to the it, script? It was more Miss. Um, it was more Little Miss Sunshine, the first draft. Mm, okay, so, so that down. <laughs> yeah, well, not consciously okay. to address that, but we, we worked on the characters a lot. And, uh, for example, the trans man character, that went through a lot of changes. Um, and uh, uh, we went, um, so we broke down the characters and um, um, we also, there, there was originally going to be four kids instead of, Three, but we didn't have room for the for them in the multicab, <laughs> the <laughs> minivan. It would have been too cramped, mm -hmm. and um, so we had to kill one of them. <laughs> and the the actress who was supposed to play that fourth um, child uh, uh, um, was she played the trans man. She's Chai Fonashir. She played Jude, and um, she is nothing like. Jude in real life. She is, uh, she's so woman. <laughs> she's so, she's an, uh, she, I don't know if there's such a word, but an alpha female. Right, yeah. So we cut her hair two days before the shoot. We told her like, um, I think two or, or a week, bef two weeks before the shoot, we told her, so you're not gonna play that other character anymore. You're gonna play the trans man. Right. And she panicked, but she loved the challenge. And yeah, so, um, uh, so your question again, back to your question. Um, yeah, we, I don't. Mm, we changed a lot of things in the script. Um, we added characters. We took out characters. For example, the the non character is an addition to um, to it, and, um, and some of the things. Uh, for example, Hubert's story, the child with Down syndrome, that also changed a lot. Um, um, how he it became a story of, of how he asserted his um, his independence his um, you know um, uh, be, be being assured of himself and so it became about that it was it wasn't that in the first draft yeah and so you said the film's already screened in the Philippines what was the reception is a film like this you know what how was it accepted you know what was kind of the reaction from you know the, the, the community in the Philippines were you were you anxious or worried about how it'd be received or were you, was it something that you felt like this was yeah. it was time and it was you know you were ready to tell this story I mean there's so many different types of pe you know people in the story and it's so lovely to see kind of the vast array mm -hmm. of, of you know human beings so I just I was curious how, right. how the film has been so received. this a uh, movie played in the Philippines. It opened in cinemas all over the country um, in August, mid-August, and it, it played for uh, three or four weeks. It did very well. Um, but what we're really proud of is that the film, um, if um, some of you would notice, maybe some of you won't, of course, it is understandable, but the film is in two main languages. It's in 
uh, Bisaya or Cebuano and Tagalog, Tagalog uh, or sometimes called Filipino, which is the national language. But um, it's more in Bisaya. Um, it's shot in Cebu. It's a road trip from Cebu to Dumaguete. It's in Cebuano. And we rarely have films made in that language that are uh, released nationally. So, so we're so proud of that because um, it, um, it, 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 the first time in, 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 I think, three or four decades that we have a film, in Ceb mainly in Cebuano, that's released uh, in the entire Philippines. And it was appreciated not just by the Cebuanos, but also the Tagalogs. And uh, we were, um, a lot of people were trying to, they, they meant well, when, before we started shooting, they tried, they, they told us, you know, you can still shoot this movie in Tagalog, not in, in Cebuano. And, you know, you'll have an easier time marketing it. But we, the, the production, the main production staff, um, the director, the writer, my co-writer, Patrick, my co-producer, Bianca, and myself, we all agreed that, no, it's time to do a Cebuano movie that will be, um, uh, it, it's a comedy, it's a genre movie. Well, it's not really a comedy. It's, you can also think of it as a drama, but it's very funny. But, um, but, but it's a very uh, accessible um, um, story told in Visaya or, or Cebuano. So, so we were committed to that, and we, that was a challenge that we wanted, wanted to take on. There's a lot of um, um, Tagalog, majority of the movies released in the Philippines or made are in Tagalog, and I think that um, with this, um, the exciting thing is that more regional filmmakers are encouraged to do their films in their original language. So, so that's what we're proudest of. That's fantastic. All right. I'm not going to take up any more time. I would love to open it up to the audience. Who would like to? Yes, right in the center. Eager. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, I love the movie. Thank How you. long did it take to write this script? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, like I said a while ago, so Patrick originally wrote it for a school project, and um, so he had that first draft, which got a grant, and um, and so I came on board. It's crazy. This, the timetable for this movie is something that I will not do again <laughs> because um, I, I I got on board like late June or end of June, and then no, it was early July. <laughs> but we started shooting in August, <laughs> and we were shooting like in mid August to late September, and our because of the grant that the, the script got. It was um, committed to, sh to premiere in, a, in the uh, Q Cinema. It's a Quezon City Film Festival in mid-October. So we finished shooting on the last week of September and we were showing it on October 16. <laughs> so that's crazy, but yeah, we managed. And we're so lucky, um, it's not part of your question, but I'm gonna bring it up, that we got this cast because they made it possible. Um, Jacqueline Ose is a big deal in the Philippines. Um, it, people are, keep asking me, how are you able to get her? It, she just, she won Best Actress in Cannes last year. And uh, she, this is her first movie right after that win in Cannes. And um, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Um, the reason we got Jacqueline was because I predicted that she would win in Cannes. Before I even saw her film in Cannes, Marosa. When I read about Marosa going to Cannes, I don't know, I had a feeling that she was going to win. And I wasn't even a part of this project yet, or I was, the project wasn't really a, a, a green lit yet. But she was going to Cannes in May, right? And I said, no, th there's this possible project. And I said, oh, she's going to win. I don't know why, but I could tell she was going to win. So I had to, I worked with her previously in another movie. And um, so I, I said to myself, I have to get in touch with her. Even if this film wasn't sure yet, I had to get in touch with her and tell her that I have a project for her. And, um, and after she comes back from Cannes, would she consider doing it? And she said, yeah, sure, we'll talk about it. I'm just so busy now because I'm leaving for Cannes. 
and then she won. <laughs> That's so great. And then I got a message from a newspaper in Manila ask, telling me, Hey, Jacqueline says her next movie is with you. So, yeah. Because so, you read about it first. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, well, aside from Jacqueline, the other cast members are, are mostly uh, the three children. Um, they're all Cebuano. So Jacqueline is Tagalog. Um, and the three uh, actors who play the, the, the kids, only one of them uh, is a trained actor. She's, um, she played the trans man, Chai Funasher. And um, the, 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 the actors who played Hubert and Jay are first time actors. Yeah, and I, I mentioned a while ago in the intro that the family of Vincent, who played Hubert, is here. Can you stand up, please? Lucy and yeah, Jerry and, and, and this is Matthew and Lise. And you know, Lucy uh, was with Vincent. She's based here, but she was with Vincent. She was on vacation in the Philippines. She was with Vincent the whole time during the auditions. And we almost scrapped that role because we were so scared to cast uh, a person with Down syndrome and to put them in a very cramped um, minivan. And it was so hot when we shot. And, but you know, what convinced us was um, the presence of Vincent's family there in the auditions. Lucy and her sister Cora and their mother Connie, they were all there supporting um, Vincent throughout the auditions. And, and Vincent's such an angel. Um, if you recall, uh, one scene in the movie, uh, Jacqueline said the mother says the line, um, um, when, your, when your Kuya Hubert was born, I thought that he was going to be my biggest problem. That, that, that line wasn't in the script. We wrote that line um, while we were shooting because that was our experience with that actor. We almost scrapped the role because we were so scared. We didn't want to, for him to be, you know, to feel oppressed or, you know, so, you know, tortured with, with the shoot, but by the shoot. But, but that line expresses our, our feelings because what we thought was going to be our biggest problem became really, he was the easiest cast member to deal with. Not that the other, not that the other cast members were monsters, no, were, everyone was a darling. But, but Vincent, there was no problem at all and he made it so easy for everyone. So that, he inspired that line, in fact. I don't know what the question was. I, I rambled. <laughs> that was great. I lost my mind. So, uh, so we have time for one last question. Anyone dying to ask a question? Yes, right here. In front. I think it's interesting that you call this a comedy because I've never cried so much. Oh, it's a you. great love thank story. You. I really think that you should say it's a great love story oh, masquerading mm -hmm. as a comedy. But there are that's of humor. what it is. I mean, I think there's so much pathos right. and so much emotion, but there, right. it doesn't. It's not oppressive. There okay. is levity, so yeah, no, you no, to balance to, that. To, honestly, I don't think it's a comedy. Um, um, that was more of a marketing strategy for us. But when we made the trailer and the, you know, but for for me, it's it's not not really a comedy because the. The premise itself is not comedic. It's about a family going to the funeral, right, of an estranged member of the family. And it just so happens that the situations are so natural and funny. Sometimes they're too absurd that they're not really realistic. But, the, you know, the, the way the characters played it also made it funny. I think the actors that we chose for the roles, um, we consciously made um, wanted to make something that wasn't trying to be funny, um, and it, if you, well, maybe you can call it deadpan. But we chose the actors who could deliver those lines without trying to be funny. So, and that's so hard. And we are so lucky we found those actors, and not just um, uh, Vincent, who played Hubert, but Jay. Can you believe it? Jay is also a first-time actor, and Jay is uh, his, na uh, his name is jo his uh, nickname is Joe. And he's a crew member. He's a he's in the lighting department, he's in camera and lights department. And this is his first um, role as an actor. And uh, you know, and he's an audience favorite in the Philippines. Um, yeah. yeah. So. Well, thank you guys. Unfortunately, we have a tight turnover. Oh. Okay. If you guys have any more questions for Moira, I'm sure she'd be happy to speak with you at right outside in the lobby. Thank you all so much for coming. Please don't forget to vote for the audience award. Thank you, Moira, okay. for being here. Thank we are you. so happy to have you.